Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and install Skyrim Special Edition on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So there are various methods of running this game and one of them is the crossover method. However, some people have been having some compatibility issues getting Skyrim running on the M1 Mac, especially the later patches in 2022, as well as incompatibilities with Crossover 21.1. So today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fix those issues, namely the flickering texture issue and also the issue with the lack of one Voice dialogue. So when I try to talk to Lydia, we don't have any actual voice dialogue. So I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. So this method is going to be showing you how to go ahead and fix those particular issues. So this is going to be a beginner's guide. So it's going to take you right from the beginning of the installation all the way up to the fixes. So if you're looking just for the fix, then please just skip ahead. This video should be everything that you need to get this game running. So the first step is going to be to click the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you do make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So once you get to the Crossover page, what you can do is to scroll down here and then you can click the Try Now button. And this is gonna give you a 14 day free trial where you can test out the full functionality of Crossover. If you do decide to purchase, then please click my affiliate link and click the buy now button. If you use the coupon code Apple Gaming Wiki and click apply here, then you'll get a 25% discount off your crossover purchase. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the trial. So I'm gonna click the try now button. Now all I need to do is to enter my name and email address and I can click the download trial now button. So crossover will begin a download process. This file is 340 megabytes in size. So please wait a moment for that to complete. So once crossover has completed downloading, we're gonna to go to finder and I'm gonna open our downloads folder. I'm gonna open up crossover. So I'm gonna double click on here and this has extracted the crossover application into the downloads folder. And then what we're gonna do is to drag this into our applications folder and then let go. And now when I look at my applications folder, I'm gonna scroll down and then find the crossover application. And what we're gonna do here is to double click on crossover. Crossover is gonna give this option menu here. We're gonna press open. And then what we're gonna do is press the try now button. So if you've already purchased this, what you can do is click the unlock with purchase info, but today we're gonna to be using the trial. Here we're gonna press try now. So now we have entered the crossover main menu. So what we're gonna do here is to click install a Windows application, and I'm gonna select the Steam application. So I'm gonna type in the word Steam, I wanna select Steam here. So when we're using what's called a cross tie, we have some tabs here, which we can just check. We can select installer, and this is showing that it's downloading the Steam installer from the Codeweaver's website. If we select bottle here, we can also see that Steam is being created under a Windows 7 64-bit bottle. This is often the most compatible for most games. Here, we're gonna press the install and finish tab and then click the install button. So this is now downloading and installing various dependencies, including the Steam software itself, as well as various fonts and software dependencies. So this might take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your internet connection. Whenever an installer window like this pops up, just press yes. Here we're gonna press next. We need to agree to everything and press next. Here we can skip the user information and then click install. Here we're gonna click finish. So this is now the Windows Steam installer. So here we're gonna press next. We're gonna select our language. I want to install it in the default location. Now we're going to press run Steam and click finish. So here it's installing the rest of the Steam application, so just wait for this to complete. So if you don't have an account already, what you can do is click create a new account button here and you can create a free Steam account. If you have an account already, then click the login to an existing account button. And now we're going to enter our account name and password. So now it's asking us to complete our Steam Guard authorization, so just check your email for a support code. Now we have been granted access to our Steam account, we're gonna press finish. So it's saying here that the installation of Steam has completed, just press the done button here. So as you can see, Steam has now loaded up and we have the Windows version of Steam. You can tell because minimize and maximize buttons come from the Windows interface of this launcher. They don't have the macOS interface, which would be the red and yellow and green button on the top left instead. So now that we've installed Steam, we can go ahead and install and launch any Windows game, which is not normally available on the Mac operating system. So now I'm going to double click on Steam and reopen the launcher. And I'm gonna maximize this window. So what I'm gonna do now is to search for the game Skyrim. So I'm gonna type in Skyrim into the search bar here, and then we're gonna click on the library. We're gonna confirm our birth date, press view page. If you don't own this game already, then you can go ahead and add it to cart and make a purchase. I'm actually going to be downloading the slightly older version, the Skyrim Special Edition, not the Anniversary Edition. So I'm gonna to go to my library button here. I'm gonna type in the word Skyrim. Then I'm going to click on here, and then I'm gonna click on this button, click on this machine, and I'm gonna install it on this particular Mac. This is the Windows version of Skyrim being played through Crossover. 
So there's sometimes an issue when you press this install button, you can't see the installer window. That's because it's hidden behind this main window. So I'm just gonna minimize this a little bit and I can see behind we have the Skyrim Special Edition installer here. I'm gonna go ahead and click next and then agree. And then we're gonna let this download and install. So just wait for that to fully download. It might take a little bit of time. It's an 11.25 gigabyte file. So what I wanna do is to quit out of Steam so the next thing that we need to do is to apply a fix for The Elder Scrolls V. And that's because if you run the standard DXVK, then you're going to experience some flickering textures. And also there's going to be an audio bug where you can't hear any dialogue audio. So the way to do this is that we need to apply a cross tie to our bottle. So the best practice for this is that you don't necessarily want to apply these fixes directly to Steam. You might want to actually duplicate your bottle and then only apply those fixes to that particular bottle. The fixes that we apply here are going to apply to every other Steam game that we run. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to control click on my Steam bottle and then click duplicate. And then I'm going to call this one Skyrim. Here we're going to press create. And this is basically going to take all of the Steam data and then copy it into a new bottle. So you should try to do this on an empty Steam bottle rather than one which is filled with lots of games. Or you could just go ahead and create a brand new Steam bottle just for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. So I've got my new bottle here called Skyrim. And what we're going to do is click on this install a Windows application button. We're going to type in the word Skyrim. And then I'm going to, I'm going to click on the 64-bit version and then we're going to select bottle. So we're going to apply it to the Skyrim bottle or indeed you could actually apply it to a brand new bottle on its own but we're going to do the one that we've created already. Then we're going to press install and then this is basically applying various fixes and audio overrides. So next we're going to control click on the Skyrim bottle and we're going to be turning off DXVK. So normally you want to keep this on but since Crossover 21 has come out if we turn off DXVK then we're going to be using Wine D3D which is more compatible for this particular game. And then we're going to double click on our Skyrim Special Edition or you could actually launch this from Steam. So you're going to click Options and now I'm going to select Medium Settings and we're sticking to 1080p and these are the settings that we're using. So now I'm going to press the play button. So here we're gonna press the load button here. I'm gonna load up one of my old save games. So as you can see, I can actually play the game now. The frame rate is not as good as it would be with DXVK. It is actually compatible now. And if I talk to Lydia, I actually turn up the volume a bit and I can actually- we'll remain on guard here. So we don't have the typical issues associated with DXVK. We have the dialogue all working and we have none of the flickering textures from before. This is working correctly. So I can talk to a guard. And that's all working properly as it should be. Now, I can't get a frame rate counter working on this. However, it does seem to be working relatively stutter and lag free. I think if I turn down the settings a little bit more, then it'll be a bit more playable. So there still is a little bit of flickering of vegetation, but it's not really as bad as the DX3K version of the game. So as you can see, this is all working pretty well, even though it's not as performant as it would be on DX3K. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2, or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested. So please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.